calling Noel Creel up for the kickoff. Ted Glossop looking on the reserve bench with the Saints. Of course, he knows every square inch here at the Belmore Sports Ground after spending some six seasons as the Canterbury Bankstown coach. Switch of play for Graham Wynn inside the quarter line now. Clark Robinson. The kick out wide for the backs. Beatty's coming onto it. Dwyer read it perfectly, tidied it up well. And now he's found Davis, who manages to stay in from the touchline. Ryan. Same result. He can't beat Gill, though, TV. For Glenn Ryan. And one out again, Manley, without any real support. Runners coming, Pocock. Bump Gill out of the way, who was told he was offside by Eddie Ward. That's why he didn't take any part in the tackle. They go through the backs now, Hasler. Switch of play for Noel Cleal right up the middle. The big crusher on the charge for Manley. Numbers over here if they can spread it. Austin with a dummy, cuts back infield. Still going. 32 out from the St George line. Best move of the match so far, Tooby. Hasler. Hatter comes through the back line under Dwyer. Darrell Williams fumbles, knocks it down. St. George will come up through the advantage. Craig Young, they keep it alive. Gordon. Well, the fence just isn't on here at the moment. Osborne, out wide, sloppy pass. Manly player was held back. This will have to be a penalty. Gately. Trying to play this game on the fringe of the rucks through their forwards, Manly. Pocock's come up with some breaks, as has Cleal. Now Hasler comes up with a break. Links up with Rapati. This time he'll look for Davis. Back on the inside, support from Noel Cleal. Inside, he tries to beat Walford. Back for Rapati. Brilliant football from Manly. Keeping the ball alive now. They have the overlap, if they can spin it. Broken chair, fumbles the ball. And Rapati from dummy half. Rapati from dummy half has gone right through. Rapati, he's only got the fullback in front of him, but the support ran away from him. And big Gerald play at 32 out from the St. George line. Cleal and Tuvi now. And then Hasler. A looping overhead pass for Dwyer. But he really had to stop to gather that in. Now here's Austin. Keeping the ball alive now, Manly. Hasler. Hasler looks for support. He's got it. In the Cleal. Now back for Tuvi. Tuvi to the quarter line. The gap is there for the little fella. Brought down just 10 metres out from the St George line. Here come the manly side now as Cleal. Got it away to Hasler. Looking out there for Davis. He must score. He will score. Improving the position just a fraction. And the manly side is in. Opportunity now to post a try before the break. That's six minutes away from half time. Around the corner, the pass came from Gately. Tuvi was a pressure ball for Hasler. He let it go for Noel Peel. He knocked it forward, and St George <laughs> pick up the advantage. <laughs> Saints in possession, just 10 from uh, halfway. Let's have a look at these missed tackles. 13, St George have missed 13, Manly only four. Dear, oh dear. I suppose the Saints can count themselves lucky that uh, it's just been the one try scored against them. Bailey takes play inside the Manly half. They do look like a side with uh, many problems at the moment, the, uh, the Saints, don't they? Osborne running straight across field, able to uh, link up with Beanie, and then out to win. Wins into the clear, wins to the quarter line. Where's Walford? Looks for Walford, found him, and Walford is going to score underneath the post. Well, that came out of nothing. Rapati, Rapati pushing off some pretty flimsy defence. We'll play it on the quarter line. Here's Cleal. Running straight across field, trying to thread his way through the gap. Pass back inside for Simon Davis. So Manley still on the attack, 11 metres out from the St George line. Rockenshear back to Tuvi. There's the half-time siren, so time has beaten Manley for the first half anyway. And they'll go to the break with St George leading 6-4. to four. 
Yes, well, we've had a game of uh, football. Anyone that's been watching it here will agree that there have been more mistakes in this half of football than you'd see in a full game of uh, daytime football. I'm not blaming the nighttime lighting or anything of that nature. The teams just can't uh, hold the ball, but they've come up with a try apiece. Walford scored a try for St George not so long ago. Also converted his own try. That's their six points. Now it's again clear. Plenty of room to move for him. Eddie Ward with a big five metre line. He's taking these defences back eight and ten metres at times. There he is, marching well and truly out of uh, view, Eddie Ward. Back some eight metres on that occasion. Rapati caused plenty of trouble too in the first half, and now he started well in the second. He has Hasler inside, has the dart back outside. Now switching player goes for Austin. Great try to Manly. Rapati and Hasler, brilliant combination in putting Austin under the post. Just what Manly wanted to kick off this second half. There's plenty of pace. And exactly what Bobby Fulton would have asked for at half-time and Rapati laying that one on for Manly. As I was saying before in the run, he was causing plenty of damage in the first half. Well, his father's the veteran sprint champion of the world, you know. And right in front for Dwyer. Make that one out of three for him now. So it's Manly hitting the front by ten points to six. Front enough for ball at the Belmore Sports Ground live. 10-6, Manly uh, leading. You'll recall they finished the first half full of running, almost scored just before half-time, but they've started off where they left off. Saints in possession now. Robinson getting it away to Graham Wynn. He has the feed for Manley. And able to take it over the line and lost the ball, but the penalty has been given to Manley. Well, he Paul uh, Shaw will welcome this opportunity. He's been out of favourite Manley for the last six or seven weeks. And uh, Tuvi's taken over as the uh, the replacement halfback in the Manly side. Now there's Shaw coming on. Tuvi's got uh, a bit of a ruffle on the head there and going to be assisted off. He's only a very small man, but he's a tough little fella, and uh, I think he'll weather the storm okay. Jumps into the dummy half position, Hasler. Shaw. Rapati on the charge. Bouncing off tackles. He's done it. Try, great individual try. Plenty of strength, a good step. He's having a huge game for Manly. Now Manly with Hasler. Discarding one defender. Still going up to the halfway mark. Good run from Hasler and a flick out the back door to Shaw. Shaw saw the gap and went straight through it. He looks for support. And he found that man Rapati again. Rapati's got rid of one. Still going Rapati. What a hell of a game he's having tonight. Really enjoying himself. Anything he won't enjoy is if he has to do an interview. Hates him. <laughs> now Hasler turning it back for Pocock. That, look, that looks so sad, Graham. Look at Gately. Gately gets a pass away that's gone astray. It's picked up by Hasler, and Hasler's under the post. Oh, Manly. Boy. No mistake. So, Manly. <laughs> Brett Clark says, <laughs> if it was, but I want him more. <laughs> Oh dear, now Manly getting back into the swing of things with uh, Austin playing at Brockenshire and Ryan just inside the quarter. Gately Ram as a decoy. It's Manly ready to work into a really attacking position now, he's sure through the gap himself, Shaw. Pass back inside for Hasler. That's an easy try. Well done, Shaw. Sprinted. Knew Hasler was there inside, and the pass was good. State Bank big game. Brisbane against Canterbury from Lang Park. Should be a terrific match. All the talk about Steve Mortimer on the bench for the Bulldogs. I'm sure you'll see him in action at some stage. I think the... Uh... At the risk of sounding as though I know what I'm talking about, I think they made a blunder with Steve Mortimer. I think he's a better... Well, away goes Manley. Charlie Haggard right under the post. Back to Shaw, and Hasler was involved yet again for another Manly Marinka try. Smiles all round for Manley. Right under the black dot, and another easy kick for Timmy, Timmy Dwyer. Pulled down 32 metres out from the Manly line. 
the run around now with Walton. Caught by Ryan in centre field. Here's Robinson. A half dummy and takes the tackle right on the manly quarter. Benson. Beatty, which is almost intercepted. Beatty's given it away to Clinton Moore. Moore's just uh, got support too from Ricky Walford. And St George are going to go and score under the post. Walford will make it easier for himself. So, as I said before, those Saints have beaten. They're certainly uh, in there till the end.